Hello and welcome to the guide video of SATA. Let's talk about his passive first. His passive is basically every third auto attack is a piercing auto attack which deals additional magic damage. Also you can see that its range is bigger than the normal auto attacks. Next is his watch ability. In this, Zarta launches a magic missile which deals damage to enemies in his path and explodes at the end. A cool trick that you can do with this ability is that you can pair it with flicker like this. So how you do this is you drag the ability over the flicker and then you instantly flicker in the direction you want to. Next is the second ability. In this ability Zarta summons a cyclone which travels towards the location where he summoned it from. If I summon it from here the cyclone ends where I summoned it. Now the thing is with your S1 and S2 is that if you pair these both together it deals crazy amounts of poke damage. How you can do that is whenever the S1 and S2 hit each other it creates a small explosion. If that explosion hits an enemy it reduces the cooldown of your ult by 2 seconds. If I use if I use my ult and then I use my S1 and S2 it reduces the cooldown of my ult by 2 seconds. Also whenever these both skills meet, you get your passive. Even if it doesn't hit an enemy, you get your passive. Next is your ultimate. If you press your ultimate and then move your joystick, the direction that you move your joystick in, Zata dashes in that direction. So the basic thing that you want to do with your ultimate is, you want to dash on your ability or an enemy titan. If I dash on my ability, I can dash again. If I dash on my ability, I can dash again. If I keep dashing on my ability, Zata goes into the air and attacks the enemy 10 times. He shoots 10 projectiles at the enemy. These projectiles deal area damage to the enemy and the enemies near him. So if I use my ultimate, the projectiles that are traveling to, to Thane, the enemies near Thane will also receive damage. But the area damage is very small. So the enemies have to be right on top of Thane to receive damage. Next, you can do this with your S2 also, dash twice and then backwards, but you can't dash thrice with your S2 in the same direction, because the ult gets cancelled. Next, whenever you dash on your ability, you get your passive back, and if you use your passive, you can dash one more time at the end. So if I use my auto attack once, I can dash four times now. If I use my auto attack twice, I can dash five times now. The maximum amount of times you can dash is 5. Also, if you somehow mess up your ult, then if you dash once, it goes on a 6 second cooldown. If you dash twice, it goes on 11 second cooldown. So the lesser you dash, the lesser will be the cooldown. Imagine, if you use your ultimate by mistake, then instead of dashing, you can just stay in that position till your ultimate expires. Then you will receive a lower cooldown. Now we move on to the combos. So the basic 3 dash combo is that with your S1 you can dash thrice in the same direction and it will activate his ult. Or you can dash twice front and once backwards. Now with your S2 you can either dash twice front and once backwards. Otherwise you can dash do a zigzag dash front back and front. If you combine these both then you will deal additional damage plus your ultimate stash. Now if you want to do 4 or 5 dashes during your ultimate, you need to auto attack between dashes. Now there is no specific combo for this 4 dash ult or 5 dash ult. You need to adjust according to the situation. One more thing, when you have 4 dashes, you don't need to hit your last dash. It will automatically go into the air. Same goes for the 5 dashes. I don't need to hit my last dash on an ability or an enemy hero. Also if you have 5 dashes and you mess up in between, like you miss the 4th dash, 
it will not cancel result it will act rather I'll activate result now the important combo which can basically reset the cooldown of your ult how you do this combo is that whenever you use your s1 and s2 it reduces the cooldown of your ultimate by 2 seconds if the explosion hits the enemy so to do this combo you use your s1 and s2 on the enemy the important thing is that s1 and s2's explosion should hit the enemy otherwise it won't reduce the cooldown of your ult so you s1 and s2 and ult then you dash however you want then you s1 and s2 on the enemy once more then your ult is almost back See, you use s1 and s2 on the enemy then you dash however you want then you use s1 and s2 on the enemy again then your ult is back s1 and the important thing is that you hit the enemy with your s1 and s2 force Also you can do this combo with your S1 flicker trick I showed earlier. And one more thing you can do with flicker is that you can flicker during your ult. Now one more thing, Zata can't really move during his ultimate. If you try to move you just dash in that direction. But if you use your auto attack then Zata will move towards the enemy. You use your ult and then you You use your ult and then you auto attack So he walks towards the enemy This can be useful if the enemy is a little far away from you You can walk towards him Also remember You won't get your passive If you dash on the enemy here You will only get your passive If you dash on your ability See I dashed on my ability I got my passive Dash on my he on the enemy hero. I don't get to pass. 